Hello everyone. I was longing to describe about this beautiful book on topology by James R. Munkers. So don't get intimidated by the name. It's actually easy if you read it day by day. This opens your mind on several aspects in mathematics. Topology is an idea which is developed on sets. It's an extension of set theory and whatever you deal with are based on properties of some particular sets. So these sets have three particular properties. They are sets which are collection of some sets and arbitrary union of these sets is also contained in that set and finite intersection of the sets is contained in this set and the entire set as well as the empty set belong to this set. So under these conditions a set is called as topology of a given set. So this book contains two parts. Part 1 will be general topology and part 2 will be algebraic topology. So let's take a closer look. So in here we have part 1 and start out with chapter 1. And this can be read by students of high school level from grades 9 to 12. Though it is college level concept, you shouldn't be scared to read this. It is actually understandable and uh, I can assure you that if you work on this regularly, you will become a master of topology. So let's go from the chapter 1 of part 1. Chapter 1 is about set theory and logic. This is the basic of the entire topology. So as I told, set theory is the fundamental of topology and topology is defined for set. So for operating on this topology of a set, you should know some basic operations and definitions related to set theory. And that's what we have in chapter 1. So you can start with chapter 1 and read all the subsections. There are few asterisks. For example, section 8 and section 11 and supplementary exercises are marked with asterisks. You can skip it, but it's your choice. If you want, you can also read it. The asterisk denote that even if you skip, you will be continuing the flow of the chapter. So once the chapter 1 is done, you can move to chapter 2, which discuss the fundamentals of topology. They start with the definition of topological spaces and they define basis for a topology, order topology. So these are quite fundamental and they can be understood once you master chapter 1. You need not study all the sections of this chapter. You can study the sections from 12 to 21 and as marked the quotient topology is optional. You can come back to it later and then you can go to connectedness and compactness which is chapter 3 and you can move to chapter 4 which is also important. We discuss about certain axioms and the properties of topology. Again you can skip the subsections marked with star mark asterisk. You can go on till chapter 4 continuously by just skipping these subsections. Chapter 5 is an optional chapter because it's entirely on proving a particular property of compact spaces. So it's about infinite product of compact spaces is compact. So that can be read but it is a choice. You may choose to skip it as well. And you have chapter 6 and 7 which are also important. And chapter 8 talks about dimension theory. So you can study that as well. And then comes the algebraic topology which is part 2 of this book. So it talks about the fundamental group. Which is very important in research level mathematics. It's not only important for topology. It has wide range of application. Even in algebraic K theory and uh, number theory. A lot of number theorists also use fundamental group for their analysis. So, an uh, interested student should go through this. These are very curious. And you have separation theorems, which is also important. And the Seifert-Van-Kampen theorem. 
there are some theorems and you can go to covering spaces that's a very important thing and you can actually study the application to group theory all right but when coming back to the exercise given at the end of each section it is very important to solve them otherwise you will not be able to understand it completely in order to comprehend the entire idea given in each section you have to solve the problems so the problems are very depth and they kind of test your problem solving skills so i really love the problems given in each section so i used to solve the problems for a long time and also do remember that this do not require any private tutoring you can learn all these by yourself so just you need motivation and you should be having a lot of perseverance to complete this book but you need not again you need not complete all the chapters you can skip the unessential ones which are marked with asterisks so this is an important part of research but this actually can be started in high school level so what i'm telling is not only for college level students but also for high school students i hope it will benefit you in all aspects so keep learning and keep doing great mathematics see you all in the next video bye